And a former L.A. County Sheriff's deputy accused of torturing and sexually assaulting his ex-wife and her lover will appear in court tomorrow. I'm Liberty Chan in Santa Ana. We're going to have details on the case coming up. Thank you for that. A 48-year-old Riverside woman has been arrested on suspicion of murder and arson following a house fire that killed her father and critically injured her mother as well. Deborah Clark is her name. She reportedly is developmentally disabled and was booked on Friday afternoon. Now, deputies say that Clark returned to home while police and firefighters were there on the scene. Before her arrest, Clark's two brothers reportedly told police that their sister lived in the home and was not capable of understanding the danger of the fire. Elsewhere, a former sheriff's deputy is now on trial for an unusually gruesome attack on both his wife and her lover. The prosecutor says that the ex-deputy carved up the victim's face like a pumpkin. Now the question is, did the 245-pound ex-marine just snap? KGLA's Liberty Chan, she is live in orange with details on what both sides are saying tonight. Liberty? Mary Beth, uh, Robert McLean is accused of some horrendous crimes against his ex-wife and her lover. Well, tomorrow he'll have his day in court. This is the man accused of torturing and sexually assaulting his ex-wife and her then lover in a bizarre and brutal attack in 2008. Prosecutors say Robert Avery McLean, a former L.A. County deputy and Desert Storm Marine veteran, had just learned that his former spouse was having an affair with a 23-year-old singer-songwriter she met while working at this leasing office in Irvine. The young man lived at the apartment complex, and that's where McLean reportedly arranged to meet the woman and her friend. Investigators say the encounter turned into a nine-hour ordeal in an office break room. The Orange County D.A. says McLean beat the couple and used a knife to slash the man's face, carving it up like a pumpkin. Prosecutors say he also forced his wife to use the knife and cut the man's groin area. Afterwards, they say he drove his ex-wife to their home and then sodomized her. Hours later, Mrs. McLean drove herself to a hospital with her four children. The next morning, a cleaning crew at the leasing office found Mrs. McLean's lover on the floor covered in blood. He was unrecognizable. Since the alleged attack, McLean has been sitting in jail. The 38-year-old is scheduled to appear in court tomorrow. He faces eight felonies, including aggravated mayhem, torture, rape, and sodomy. His public defender says his client just snapped after learning of his wife's infidelity. If convicted, McLean could spend the rest of his life behind bars. In Santa Ana, I'm Liberty Chan for KTLA 5 News.